guys what's up so i welcome you all to my channel small steps academy and in the previous lesson we learned about the solo model it was an introduction and i told you about the production and consumption function under accumulation of capital okay so in this chapter in in this lesson we are going to learn that how the capital stock grow and what is the steady state level of capital so first of all how can your capital grow that is growth in capital stock right so you know that there can be only two cases in which uh, capital stock can grow and uh, decrease so first of all if you uh, invest on more machinery or something so your capital stock will increase so there is investment which increases your capital stock and corresponding to that there is depreciation also that your old machine is getting depreciated day by day so it is also reducing your capital stock so these are the two main component that determine your growth in capital stock if your investment is greater than depreciation then obviously there is a positive uh, there is a growth in capital stock the because it is positive similarly if depreciation exceed uh, investment then there is no no growth in capital stock rather it is decreasing okay so what is investment so investment refers to any expenditure on new plants and equipment and it causes capital stock to rise okay so it increases the capital stock and similarly depreciation refers to wearing out of old capital and it causes capital stock to decrease therefore if you want to see the change in capital stock it will be delta k is equal to investment minus depreciation right also if you if i want to write in form of capital stock per vertical so it will be small k and it will be i and let's say let's say it's the uh, let's say there is a proportion delta of small k which is your total depreciation so it will be delta k where delta is the proportion that at which rate your capital is getting depreciation depreciated and this is your capital that proportion of this proportion of total capital which is depreciated so this is your depreciation okay so if i want to further write we can write it as as why we earlier studied in the consumption function i investment is equal to saving right minus delta k so we finally got that delta k is equal to s why we can write y is equal to uh, function of capital stock per worker in the production function so this can be written as this minus delta k so now you can see my whole equation comes in small k okay that is capital stock per worker so now what happens at steady state steady state at steady state this delta k is equal to zero so now what condition will you get if this will be equal to zero this implies that this will be equal to this since if we put this zero this will be equal to this so what is your condition of uh, steady state level of capital this is this okay and this is at uh, some special level of k small k so we will put it here star because uh, at uh, any special level at only one level that at any specific point that delta k is equal to 0 and at that point k k is equal to k star and which is your condition of steady state level of capital okay now if also you can write this as s upon delta is equal to k star upon f k if i want to plot this in diagram now you know here it comes small k but now today it will come three things on uh, y axis first depreciation per worker second investment per worker and third your output per worker that is small y okay and make sure you write full also here also you write full capital stock 
पर वर्कर डोंट राइट इट इन स्मॉल ओके सो दिस इज योर प्रोडक्शन फंक्शन वाई इज गल टू एफ के एंड दिस इज योर कंजम्पन फंक्शन आई इज गल टू एस वाई इज गल टू एस एफ फंक्शन ऑफ के राइट सो नाओ सो नाओ दे इज एंड येस ऑल्सो दे इज योर डेप्रिसिएशन फंक्शन ऑल्सो विच इज डेल्टा इन टू के सो यू नो दैट डेल्टा इज जस्ट द स्लोप एंड इट विल बी अ स्ट्रेट लाइन ओके बिकॉज सिंस यू कैन सी द डिग्री इज वन ओके सो इट विल बी लाइक दिस डेल्टा के डिपेंडिंग अपॉन delta that how will it be flatter or will it be steeper so this is your delta k function depreciation function right so you can see the condition what is the condition that delta k star this delta k function is equal to s f k star that is here your consumption function so this is the point where these two are equal so corresponding to this there is some level of k that is k star which is your steady state level of capital and corresponding to this k star there here is this is y star and similarly here it is i star and what is the difference of these the difference is c star here yes okay also if uh, let's see what happens if we are on if we are not at the steady state level of capital let's see we are here now let's say it k2 okay so this is your k2 so at this k2 level you can see that your depreciation is greater than your investment so what the firm will do firm will obviously not increase its investment he will not sorry he will not increase his capital stock so what he will, he will he will be going to do just to cut out its its losses he will going to reduce his capital stock because at here your depreciation is more than investment that means your capital is decreasing right and it will decrease up to this whenever they become equal okay it will go on till here it will reduce he will depreciate 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 and it will come to that point similarly at this point before k k star let's say it's k1 here you can see your investment is more than depreciation so what will happen as long as investment is more than depreciation he will be going to invest more 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 since it is more profitable to invest so it will increase its capital stock and it will again come to k star so this is your this or uh, this may be also termed as your long long equilibrium okay long run equilibrium for small k okay so now your basic is over so let's do one numerical very easy numerical related to this your steady state level of k okay which is this one okay so your uh, your aggregate production function is given as this y is equal to this is capital okay this is all in capital since it is aggregate production function your s is given as 30% you can write it also as 0.3 and delta is given the proportion of depreciation rate 10% that is 0.1 now you are asked to calculate y star y star and k star okay you have to calculate this two thing so first of all i will for small y star i i want to find out the small y so what will be small y i will be dividing it by l right so what will it happen it will be divided by l so now we can write it as this is small y and what will this happen this will cut into 0.5 and this is k by l to the power point five. Also, I can write it as small k k power point five. And now we know the condition for steady state, which is this. So now you don't have to do anything. Just put the value of the s delta, and you know the other value also. So now I will just put down the value, and let's see the magic happens. Point three s, right? Delta is point one, which is equal to k star. upon what is this k 
point five. Okay. So now from this, from this, what will you get? What will you get? You will get your k star is equal to nine, right? Similarly, if you put k star here, you will get your y star is equal to. If you solve this, okay, you will get this only. So this is easy how it's numerical it uh, is of steady state level of capital and it is an important topic and a basic one also. So you should understand this. Okay. So in the next class we will see how the saving affects the growth. Okay. So thank you for watching, guys. Bye bye.